Hey guys and welcome to the Beauty Cubits. Carla. Thanks for joining me today. Today's video is all about hair. Um, this is just kind of what I use on my hair. People ask me all the time, uh, people ask me all the time what I use. What do I do to get it to grow so long? What chemicals or whatever do I use in my hair um, to help it grow? Um, I will have to say first that my mother, grandmother, and father and grandpa have really good hair. Uh, my mother has always, always as I remember, have hair just long, luscious. Like I, sometimes I envy my mom's hair because her hair is um, thick and my hair isn't as thick as hers. Um, and my grandma would always have hair down, down her back, but she'd always keep it in the cutest little bun. But when she took it out, it was just so, it was just billowing, just long and long. And then my dad would have, he had curly hair, so it was I think some of it has to do with the fact, I know that some of it has to do with my mom and grandparents, my mom, dad, and grandparents having really good hair. And secondly, I think the products that I use in my hair and then the routine that I keep up with um, has to do with my hair staying so long and not breaking. Um, first is I wash my hair once a week. I don't some people wash every day, every two days, or whatever. I wash once a week, and I normally do it on Saturday because that's one of my days off. And um, I do it in the afternoon, and then by, I'd say I start at like 7 and done by 8.15. So if we've gone anywhere, I wait till we get home, and then I wash and wash my hair. So the conditioner and shampoo that I use is... The Proclaim Intense Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner infused with argan oil. Um, because my hair, when you wash your hair, you're taking out the essential oils that are in it. So when you shampoo, you're stripping your hair of that. So you need something that will help moisture moisturize it. So if you, if one tip I use kind of tell you is to use something use a shampoo conditioner that is moisturizing just not something that smells good um <laughs> now this smells good but it's it's moisturizing to my hair so that's what I use and I love it it has a pump top really easy um it smells really good and then with the argon oil when you rinse your hair out it's not that like clung together and dry feeling. Um, if you know what I'm talking about is when you rinse your hair out and then you take your hands and you go all the way back to make sure it's all the soaps out and it skips along the way. Your hands skip. To me that's a sign that that shampoo is maybe drying and not good for your hair. That's my personal opinion that has it's not like professional whatever but that's why this one with this shampoo I haven't noticed that because it's got the argon, the argon oil inside of it so it helps moisturize your hair. Now with the conditioner, um, you may laugh, but I use a lot more probably than most people do because I put a couple, several pumps in my hair, then I run it through my hair, and then I put all the hair on top of my head, and then I use cling wrap. I take the cling wrap and I wrap it around my hair to make my I guess man-made shower cap but it's actually stuck to your head and then I take the blow dryer and they just kind of blow around to help seal that all in and then I have that on my hair for about 30 minutes and then once that has infused into my hair I rinse it out and then I part my hair in four sections just down the middle and then in the top crown and then it gives you four sectors and I use the John Frieda three day straight. Um, you only can use it on wet hair, just side note there. And you spray it from root to tip. You work it in your hair. Um, I don't use a brush with my hair when it's wet. I use a wide tooth comb and then I just comb my hair. And at first I have the dryer that I use. It's this type of dryer, like this. And it has just a cool, off low and high and then a turbo and then the comb attachments look like this so they actually kind of lock in place which makes it easier so it's like you're combing your hair um, so I use this type of dryer and if you'd like to know the name of it it's an Andy Styler 1875 and I don't know if they make these because I've had this my mom gave me my mom 
box dryer for me, so I actually don't know if they make them. But we used to use a Vidal Sassoon dryer just like this when we were younger. And I still have it, but it's broken because I've had it for so long. So this and then these type of comb attachments, I have two different ones, a wide tooth and a fine tooth. Well, when I start, I actually start with a dryer just like this. And then I use my wide tooth comb. And I just want to make, just I just actually go like that. And I just go in this direction down. Um, and once the hair is completely detangled, you know, where this is easier to kind of control than if you just had the comb attachment on. So once it's completely detangled and I would say a little just air dried, I put on my wide tooth um, and then I start to dry. And I start to dry with this. Um, before that, sorry, I do use my Chi uh, Iron Guard, which is just a heat protectant spray period. I do spray that on my hair before I do any drying. And then I dry with this for a little bit until it's, I would say, dry for the most part. Um, and then I take this comb off. And then I'm going to go in with my Redken Smooth Down. And then I um, put that in that same section. So I'm doing one section at a time. I'm going to do the back sections first, and then I take my Redican Smooth down, put it on my hair, then I throw on the fine tooth comb, and then blow it dry until it's completely dry. Um, and then I do all the sections just like that, and then once it's finished, um, my hair is parted down the middle, it's pretty much dry. The next step is... My hair in the root holds moisture. Um, my mother was always, <laughs> I think that was the one thing that tortured her about doing our hair was that it would look dry. It would feel dry on the ends and then it would feel, it would start to feel dry. It was just hot and then she would um, turn the blow dryer off and comb through and then she'd feel the roots again and then it would still be pretty much damp. And she said that she just had to get it dry because that was, you know, it's important for your hair to com be completely dry. Otherwise, it'll just tangle back up. So, and then after that, my hair is pretty much dry. I use the Proclaim Olive Oil Moisturizing Cream. And this smells so good. Um, it's just a cream. And then it smells, it smells really good and it's super moisturizing for your hair. I put this from root to tip and I just work it into my hair. Once I do that, um, I hit my hair one more time with my Chi um, Iron Guard and then maybe a couple more pumps of my Redken Smooth Down. And then I just go again with my fine tooth and I just go over my hair just to be sure that that is in my hair and it's starting. You'll see the shine. Go, it'll go from kind of a dull and then it'll just be really shiny and really smooth. Then once I do that, this part of your hair is dry. But you want to comb your hair back like this. And a lot of people don't do this, I find. Um, my mom would always do this with our hair. By this time, you could use your brush. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so this part is still a little poofy. My hair is still a little poofy. Um, and then you all the way back. Well, then I would take the moisture cream again with the um, Red Can Smooth Down and just run through my hair and then work it back so that your edge is here. And then all of this gets very important. Being that I pull my hair back in a ponytail most of the days of the week, that's important. And then I just run it through again with the blow dryer until it's completely dry and smooth. Um, I don't flat iron my hair this same night that I do my, that I wash it. Probably because my arms are tired from, when you have long hair, you have to go all the way through your hair, so my arms are tired for the most part. Um, and it's just a lot of that you've done with your hair. You've, you've washed it, you've conditioned it, you've put a lot of heat to it. It's just a lot. Now, normally when my mom does my hair, she does flat iron right after, or she'll tell me to go and flat iron as she does my twin sister's hair. Um, but I normally just wrap my hair around itself and I use one of these to help it's just like a mesh velcro and uh, you just take it around after you wrap your hair and you put it on and then you could put a scarf but I just use one of these 
and I use that instead of a scarf because scarves fall off of my hair no matter how tight I wear them or wrap them or whatever so that's really oh forgot one step once my hair is wrapped I use Mo motions wrapping lotion which is very important so um, if you have any more questions about my hair routine you could definitely comment below um, but uh, thank you so much for joining me. I may have been a little scatterbrained because everything was just kind of all out in front of me and behind me. Um, but I hope you got, I guess, the gist of what I do to my hair. And if you have any questions, definitely feel free to just comment below. But I talk to you all later, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.